Hello, my name's David Rees and I'm technical advisor to Lodi UK, specialising in pest control on farm. I also run Oakwood Farm Services successfully for the last 15 years, um, delivering on-farm pest control services. Today we're talking about on-farm rodent control. Rodent control is important on all farms to control diseases that the rats and mice and rodents carry. This can be spread to livestock, cross-contamination of rodent feces and urine with crops. Storage of crops going to food outlets is a big problem. We can't have food being contaminated. The gnawing of wires, fire risks, insurance problems. You need farm assurance for rodent control on farm. Peak season for rodent control would be the months of September through till March. September when the rodents are starting to come in from the fields, combining and the likes have been done. They now need to find new homes and a home for the winter. The signs to look out for when identifying a rodent infestation would be tracks and runs going through vegetation to and from feeding areas and living areas, smears where the undercarriage of the rodent rubs on the ground, obviously holes, um, rat burrows and mouse holes, the area around buildings to look for signs of entry. They could be insulation pulled out of buildings, it could be signs of entry, i.e. a hole where they're entering the building to go in to feed, or they could be obviously exiting and going back to their burrows. Those are the sort of main areas to look for. Sometimes you'll find them in hedgerows adjoining a building. This is an area to look for. They might not be living in the building, but they could well be living in the hedgerow in a very close proximity to the building. Lodi UK offer a class leading range of rodenticides in the gem range, ruby, jade and sapphire. These are in all formulations, blocks, whole wheats and pastas. Specifically for mice, there is a product called Black Pearl. This is alpha chlorolose, a very good active for controlling mice. The key areas to apply the rodenticide would be in the burrows, as long as that is licensed to do so. Um, some baits are not licensed to burrow bait. In bait stations and in safe areas away from non-target species. The application of baits do require a lot of thought in where you're going to put them and how you're going to use them. The bait formulations are there for your help. Um, if you are in a situation where you can't run the risk of using a grain, you've got the block. If that is a damp area, use the block. If it's in a bait station, you've still got the idea of all avenues, the block, the pasta and the grain. If you're trying to burrow bait, so the bromodilone range is perfect for this, you can then apply a little bit of bait down the rat hole, so down his burrow. What I call feeding at home, the rat will become lazy and will take on board that bait. Special monitoring there because if the rodent did decide to pull the bait out of the hole, you need to know about that and clear it up and move it away, otherwise non-target species can get near the hole, so that needs to be controlled. The Lodi range offers a variation of baits. Whole wheat baits suit grain stores. Um, there's an all-weather block that suits the harsher environments, the damper air in the winters that can erode blocks. The pasta baits are very good on mouse and rat control. Um, they seem to quite like them, high in fats and oils, so there's a high protein and fat content for the rodent. There's basically something to suit all scenarios, whether it be on a pig farm, if you want to use a bait that isn't quite as strong um, in a diphenicum bait. Pigs are very susceptible to anticoagulants, so using a diphenicum bait would be the better option. Grain stores, you need a very palatable bait, to control the problem in and around them. There is a few hundred tonne of grain. Why should that rodent eat your one and a half kilos of bait? It needs to be very palatable. 
So speciality baits in the blocks and the pasta baits are good for cold weather situations. They offer a very high calorie content in the high fats and oils that are built into the bait. The rats know this and will be attracted to it. In line with the crew guidance, you need to try and do as much monitoring and proofing of your site. This can be the general tidiness of the farm. If you're parking your combine up for the winter, make sure it's cleaned down and some of the electric cables and stuff prone areas, you spray with a product to keep the rodents away to stop them gnawing on cables. So monitoring of a rodent infestation is key. If you haven't got one, that's good, but you need to know the second you do have one. So using monitoring blocks will give you an indication that you have or have not got a rodent problem. If you allow the problem to get out of control, more rodenticide needs put in down, more risk of non-target species, all the other problems that come involved. So my advice would be is keep monitoring and your general husbandry around the farm to keep it as tidy as you possibly can. Rubbish in rubbish bins, don't pile rubbish up around the farm. Keep an eye on all your straw stack and all your bales. Proofing of buildings as much as you can. A nice little winter project is put in some wire wool into a hole that you knew the rat went in last year. Try and proof that hole back up to stop that entry point. For any advice needed, please contact Lodi UK or also visit the website to view the Lodi Gems range and you'll find a lot of information that you need. Any other information, please do contact us. We'd be more than happy to help. <music>